You're struggling with the Matthew Barzal moments and you really want to get them finished in the fastest way possible. I got gotcha. you. So EA released this banger flashback style icon, Matthew Barzell, and you can get it completely free. This is just like all the other flashbacks that they've released from prior games. You can acquire these by doing a few extremely difficult live moments. And just like all the other flashbacks and the live moments that you've had to complete, this one's extremely worth it, obviously, because he can get up to 99 speed, 97 acceleration. He's already got end game skating. On top of that, if you go two way forward as well as defensive boost, you can sacrifice two speed but get his face off rating almost in the high 90s and he's a great centerman for you he's got good abilities and again because it doesn't really cost you anything other than some time just a card that's extremely worth it especially for free to play players so let's walk you through how to do all of the moments in the easiest way possible so as you can see in hut moments you will see the new flashback style icon 2.0 for matthew barzal and there will be three separate moments you've got to complete all three of these objectives in each moment for you to be able to get enough collectibles to make matthew barzal for completely free Great. Full disclosure, this took me about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm in Division 2, and I get about 12 to 14 wins in Hut Champs every week, just to give you guys like a baseline of my skill level and how long it took me. So let's start with the first moment and go through how to complete each of its objectives. First up is score a goal in the bottom left corner of the net. Obviously, with a right-handed player, this can be a little frustrating. You can do this a number of ways, whether it be get a breakaway by just blowing by everyone because you've got 99 speed and gold wheels, or you can cycle the puck around. But once you get in tight, it is simply just just a forehand backhand onto the left side of the net. Again, this might take you a couple tries, but this is the motion that will guarantee this goal. If you are someone that's in Division 1 or 2, and you're still someone who uses a lot of backskating, it's much more difficult because the AI is on arcade, so every hit that they make is going to be absurd, but you can back right into the slot and go low short side as well. It's just obviously a little bit more difficult because, again, it's on arcade. The one thing to remember about these moments is that even though you're going up against all-star or superstar AI, their attributes are very low and you've got 99 speed. So one of the best ways to get a lot of these objectives done is to simply go all the way back into your zone and then beeline almost in an X. Go diagonal one side and then in the neutral zone, go left or right the opposite way and you can get in all alone very easily. Another thing I want to point out is that you don't need to do all of the objectives in one attempt, meaning that if you are able to, let's say in the first one, score a bottom left goal and then on top of that, score three more to get those done but you can't get all of the shots completed, you can simply complete the game, load back, in and all you've got to do the next time is get the shots on goal. You cannot quit out early if you have not completed all of the objectives. Once you have completed all three, the next face off you should get prompted and then you can leave. All right, next up, moment two, things get a little bit more difficult. On All Star, you've got to score three top shelf goals with Barzal, get four assists, and then get 13 shoulder checks. So let's go through those. Like I mentioned, even though the difficulty is ramped up, the attributes on the goaltenders as well as the players are still much lower than the 93 Barzal. For this this one, all you want to do is again off the rush or by cycling in the zone, simply go from the left side of the boards across into the middle of the ice. You are right handed, so you will be on your forehand and aim high, far side. He's got almost a max shot, so after a few attempts, you'll start to notice that his shot just overpowers a goaltender quite often. So, again, as you can see, you don't have to complete all the objectives in one go. Like I do here, I just get the top shelf goals. It's one of the more difficult ones. Get it out of the way. Don't worry about the other two. And then retry the moment. You've already got that finished, so you can go and get the other stars. All right, on to assist. Guys, we have been training for this since the launch of NHL 24. He's got 99 speed. You fly down the boards, crisscross in the middle if you have to, to get some time and space. And at the absolute last second, blindly fire a pass right through the middle. And after enough attempts, you're going to get five. And it'll be quicker than you think, I promise. And finally, shoulder checks. My recommendation here is to control with Barzal, get across the red line, hold R1 and saucer pass the puck into the corner, and then hold down the right thumbstick and flick up like you're taking a slap shot to get a shoulder check. You can't just flick up. You've got to do the full slap shot animation with the revert to the prior way in terms of hitting from the last patch. You get a speed burst by holding down the right thumbstick. So it's very easy to chase down players before you actually initiate a hit. You can also do this right after a player has gotten rid of the puck, it will still count even if you get a penalty. And then finally, on to the last one. This is going to be three objectives on Superstar in two-minute periods, so you will not have a lot of time, and definitely the one that people are going to struggle with the most. Highlighted by the score top left corner goals with Matthew Barzal, you've got to score four of them on top of five assists with Barzal, and then nine between-the-legs shots those don't have to be goals, so let's show you how to do the goals. Now, this is probably going to be a little difficult for players, again, that don't do well with manual aiming, but essentially, you've just got to control the puck in the top left, circle around 
the net and get far enough away from the AI. Again, it is on Superstar, so they are going to throw you around if they get within an inch of you, and you've just got to throw it in short side upstairs. Again, this might take you a ton of attempts. My biggest recommendation is if you don't score one in the first period, simply retry. You can do this a number of ways, but even if you are able to get a breakaway, going forehand and then backhand upstairs is effective, but it's not always going to register. The only way that you will always get a registered top shelf left-hand goal is if you curl around at the top here and simply fire it upstairs over the goalie's shoulder. Now you've got to get five assists. And again, I recommend doing this in a completely separate game. Same thing as the prior moment. All you've got to do is straight line down the boards left or right side and just fire a pass right through the middle. Sometimes the AI will pick it off, but eventually you're going to get the five assists. Remember, if you're within two goals and you only need one more assist or goal, in the last minute of the third period, once they get possession of the puck, they will pull their goaltender. Now you've only got 30 seconds, you got to get the puck back and avoid every other AI player, but just remember it is an option to you. And then finally, the nine between the leg shots on goal, you've actually got to hit the net. So you more than likely want to just come in from the right side towards the left with total control it's circle or b on xbox makes it very easy and again this is just repeating it over and over again again if you get frustrated and you get stuck on this for hours on end you can go ahead and cash in some of your collection to knock down the amount of collectibles needed but again if you stick to what i showed you in this video eventually you are going to get the objectives done let me know what you think in the comment section down below and good luck